In this lesson, we will be using a variable to describe a pattern. Here's a pattern of line segments drawn on dot paper. So I have figure one and it goes down one box. Figure two goes down two. Figure three goes down three. Figure four is gonna go down four and figure five goes down five. So the table shows each figure number and the number of dots that are in each figure. So in figure one, there is two or my input number of one, one plus one. In figure two, there are three or two plus one. In figure three, there are four or three plus one. In figure four, there are five or four plus one. And in figure five, there are six or five plus one. So when we look at this, we can see that the number of dots is one more than the figure number. So we can summarize this by saying it's the figure number plus one. Now, sometimes in math, um, I wouldn't want to write this out every time, that whole figure number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a variable and a variable is basically just a letter or a symbol that we use to represent something that we don't know. Now, this is something that you guys have done for a long time. Even if we go back to grade one or grade two, you guys would often do something like two plus something equals five and you guys would know okay I need to fill in that box and in that box a three would go and really what we're going to be doing in this section is is pretty much the same thing except for instead of putting a three we're going to say two plus some number is equal to five it means the same thing we're just representing it as a little bit different so um, in this example, I might use the letter F to represent my figure number. So I could write this as F plus one. And so whatever my figure number is, I'm going to add one and that's how many dots would be in my figure. So I could check this um, by choosing any one of these. So even if I choose four, I can say, okay, well, four plus one equals five. Does figure four have five dots? One, two, three, four, five. It sure does. Now this is super handy when I'm looking and maybe sometimes I want to know how many dots would be in the 14th figure. So if I want to know in figure 14 how many dots I would have that f plus one, my figure number is 14, I would have 15 dots and it saves me from going through the table and, and following the pattern or drawing out every single one of them until I get to whatever number that is. We can also use a variable to write a pattern rule. So that is a pattern rule that we just um, covered, but we can do it to use it to do other pattern rules as well. So I have here a pattern. It goes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So as I go through that table, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we know that it's going up by one each time. So I'm just going to quickly jot this table down. And so when I'm going through this, um, I'm going to look for what's happening. So every time here, I am adding one. But that's not the whole thing because I'm not going to, I don't put in one and just get seven. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what's happening. So I'm going to have my input number of one plus something is equal to seven. So this is the first thing I have to do when I create that pattern rule. And what's happening each time is I'm adding six. So if I go through two plus six is eight, three plus six is nine, four plus six is 10. That works for every single one of these. So that means that whatever my input number, or my term number is, I'm going to add six. If I wanna have a pattern rule, I'm going to have N plus 
six. And this will help me figure out what the value is going to be, no matter what number I want to put into that equation. So I have some practice questions there for you. Um, if you would like to give them a try and let me know if you have any issues with them. And we will move on to writing equations in the next lesson.